Hello everyone and very welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Angelica. Today I am going to do two looks with a palette. I have told you guys I'm going to do two looks with this palette. This is from Nomad Cosmetics. It's the Haunted Europe palette. It has a really cool front here. I hope you can see it shifts the front if you flip it. I think it's so cool. I have never seen uh, someone do this kind of front. I know in my childhood we had like cards like this that you could look like flip uh really cool by the way but anyway i have a first impression on this palette as well so i'll try to leave it up in the card and down below if you want to watch but i told you in that video as well i want to do two looks with this because it's such a fun color story uh in this palette so i thought why not do it <laughs> This is one of the looks, but before we get started, I just want to tell you guys, if you are new here to my channel, uh, this channel is almost all about makeup. I love indie makeup, like Nomad Cosmetics. <laughs> I love also mainstream makeup. I love high-end drugstore, neutral and colorful and everything in between. Maybe this is something in between. I don't know. <laughs> But yeah, if you enjoy makeup content, if you want a place to relax, have a good time, this is the place to be. So don't forget to subscribe. I upload three videos a week, Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. So hit that notification bell as well. If you click on that bell, you will be notified every time I upload a new video. And give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy. But yeah, I think we can go into the first look. Okay guys, for this first look, with this palette. Look at this, this is so cool. <laughs> I am going to do a very smoky grayish look with this one, this beautiful like berry shade uh, under my eyes. So I'm gonna use this one, I'm gonna start up with this one, deepen it up with this one, and then we're gonna take this sparkly shade here. But let's start with this shade. And this is like a grayish purple kind of matte. I feel like this is a really cool shade. I'm just gonna stamp it. I have already primed my eyes with the Kiko Milano eyeshadow base. I love this shade by the way. This I can like build up and blend out so I don't need a transition shade with this. I just take a big fluffy brush and I just like taking a little bit on the brush and just blend it very softly and as you can see you get a really nice like light blend and then we can like start to build it up but I really think this is a beautiful shade so I'm just gonna start to build it up a little bit I have used this shade before and I think I've used all the shades actually uh, before <laughs> So now when I've done this, I'm going to take a smaller brush and I'm going to just deepen this up even more. I'm just going to take the same shade again, but I am going to place it like in the outer part here and also like in my actual crease. And then I'm just going to start to blend it a little bit upwards. I feel like this palette is a really fun palette to do these kinds of looks, like very cool tone looks. It has a lot of warm tones as well, but I really like these like bluish grayish shades. I think it's really, really cool and it can be really festive actually to use something like this and then just put maybe a glitter uh, just on the lid and then you have like a New Year's Eve look, like a smoky look. So. I feel like it actually has some variety, this palette, that I really, really like. And I also have a first impression on this palette, but I really wanted to do, I would try to leave it <laughs> up in the card and down below, but I really wanted to do a um, to look video with this. So just for you to get some inspiration and also you can see how you can use this palette, but also if you just want some inspiration for looks, of course you don't need this palette to do this, <laughs> this look. So I mean, sometimes it's just nice to get a little inspiration. I always get that with a lot of YouTubers that 
does like tutorials or like looks like this, like two looks or five looks or ten looks. It's so much fun, I feel like it's you get a lot of color combination inspiration. Okay, now I'm going to dip into this deep blue shade, this matte blue here, just on the same brush we had. And this one is just going here in the very outer part. Like just to deepen this up even more here. I really like that. It's like very dramatic. I have a very dramatic lip as well. Uh, I'm gonna tell you later what it is, but it was this super beauty liquid lipstick I got from the Tri Beauty box. I haven't tried it before, so I put it on today and I really like the shade. It's really like purpley berry, very dramatic. But I feel like it's gonna go well with this cool tone look I'm going for today. Now I think, are we going to take, I think we're going to take this one now all over the lid. This is very sparkly. It's like a gray, but it shifts in all these different, I don't know if you can see, but it feels like it has a lot of like glitter specks in it. I'm going to try it with a brush and I'm also going to spray it. So we're going to try that and then we actually, it has a really dark base, but I don't know if you can see like the shift in this, but anyway, it's really, really cool. So let's just put it all over the lid. Look at that. So stunning. I don't know, is this a very, yeah, maybe this is the same formula as the green one that is a little more like sm uh, like putty, <laughs> putty formula. So if you like touch it, it moves around a little bit. Oh, look at that. Love, <laughs> love this shade. <laughs> love all of these shades actually so stunning. I mean, you can see this smoke eye we are creating here. It's stunning. I don't know if you can see, but it feels like it has like a green blue shift to it. This shade here. So I don't know, but it's stunning. I'm just gonna blend it out a little bit. Okay. Now we're going for this like berry red underneath my eyes. So I'm gonna take this one in my waterline. <laughs> uh, maybe this is gonna turn into a Halloween look or something. But this is the LA Girl Shockwave Neon Liner and this is in the shade Fiery. So I'm gonna put this in my waterline. I'm also gonna smudge it a little bit underneath. Okay guys, we need to uh, trust the process here because this looks a little bit crazy. Just as much crazy. Now I'm going to go in with a very small brush here and we're gonna take this shade now. You can see nothing here. <laughs> it has some bats on it like the embossing. It's really really beautiful. I'm gonna dip into this. I'm gonna spray it and then I'm gonna put it underneath and hopefully it will look good in the end here. I have such a small eyes but I will try. Yeah, this is going to be like very dramatic. Maybe I'm gonna look like Dracula or something when I'm done with this look. Of course you don't need to use like a berry red like in your waterline. You can actually just take a neutral like or a navy dark blue or like a dark. Maybe I should do that. I don't know. Is this like too crazy? I don't know. I'm gonna see if I change my mind. <laughs> if this is crazy. I'm gonna put something in my inner corner. I'm, I'm gonna take this shade. I'm also gonna drag it a little bit. I'm also gonna spray it though. I'm just gonna drag it a little bit underneath here towards that berry and also up a little bit like that. So we're gonna like wrap it all together these two shades. I feel like we need to do that because somehow we need to make these meet and like blend a little bit together here. I think this could be really cool actually. I 
think I'm gonna have it like this because then I'm going in with mascara and liner and lashes and all that so I feel like it's gonna come together in the end. <laughs> uh, now it looks a little bit crazy but we're gonna trust the process and we are going to see how it looks when I put on some lashes mascara and yeah I think it's <laughs> mascara lashes and liner eyeliner so I'll be right back. Okay guys the lashes are on and the liners on and I change <laughs> the liner in the waterline because I felt like this one was a little bit too fiery for me. I felt like it was a little more or too much Halloween for my taste. So I actually put this one in my waterline in top of the other one and this is the Cupid's Arrow number three from Nabla. I love these. I actually have a new one in a brown because they are so creamy and pigmented. It's so easy to use but I took this one. It's more like a dark plum uh, I feel like this looks better and but I really like the look and I'm just gonna tell you what I have on my lips as well before I forget before we get into the close-up uh, I line my lips with this one this is the Marabella lip definer in cheeky it's yeah it's a dark berry as you can see and as I said before it's the Suba Beauty let me see here <laughs> Suba Beauty liquid lipstick in the shade fictional reality so it's a glossy lamination. So it's a glossy liquid lipstick. I really like it. I mean, it's it's not like an everyday shade for me, but I do enjoy it from time to time, these kinds of shades, because I do have shades like this <laughs> in my collection that I enjoy. And I really think it works with this look. But and now we are, I'm going to show you the close up of this look. So what do you think about the first look? I mean, I love it. Um, it's not for everyone that wants to have this like underneath this <laughs> berry red or like maybe it's too much um, for you, but you can always use the shades you used up here, like down here. I mean, if you don't want to go with this look, but I really like it. I feel like it's very Halloween-y. I feel like Dracula or something. <laughs> with this as well like high up it feels like I'm like in a in a movie with yeah the like this you know the the theme like haunted places castles in Europe and yeah I just feel like I could be a ghost or something <laughs> but in a good way <laughs> because I love the look like this metallic here is so sparkly I don't know if you can see like how it shifts and the grayish blue I love it so yeah this was the first look guys so let's just jump into look number two for this second look I am going to do a green halo eye so basically I'm gonna use these three shades and probably this one like a transition shade uh, so I'm going to start with this Mary King's close so this one, just as, a, as I said, transition shade. So this is just going in the crease, just to have something also underneath. So this is going to be quite a simple look, I feel like. like a classic halo eye, but I really wanted to play with the greens more. So, I mean, in my first impression, I used did I use, yeah, two of the greens, the matte green and the darkest shimmer. So I haven't used the lightest one, I believe. So I'm gonna do that today. And now we're going in with the dark green, this one. And then we're just gonna place it in the inner and outer part of my lid. This is very pigmented. So just be careful about it. Gonna place it first how I want it and then I'm gonna start to like, blend it a little bit and then I'm just putting a little more green again so we don't lose that and then we're gonna put some shimmer as well so I think something like this I'm gonna put the green under my eyes as well 
So now we're going in with the shimmers. I just feel like I am going to put this one on my lid and in the very center of my lid I'm gonna put this one. So I'm gonna start with the darkest and this is this weird formula as I said before like this oh my God. <laughs> putty kind of like the Colourpop Super Shock shadows that get more creamy consistency but I'm gonna see now I have a smaller brush but it works great actually. Picks up really good on the brush but I always spray it I do that with all my shimmer shadows, so just to get them more foil, but that is pretty. That is really pretty. I hope you can see like the sparkles in this one. Really beautiful green. I'm just leaving the center of my lid because that's where that is where we're gonna put the lightest shade, but here I like kind of messed it up, but it doesn't matter. We're gonna put the lightest one on top of that anyway. Okay, so now I'm going in with this lightest shade, this green shade. This looks a little more minty. Minty green picks up good and we're gonna place it in the center of the lid. That is also very beautiful. Well, now I'm just going over with this brush I had for the mattes just to blend it a little bit together maybe I'm gonna deepen up a little more with the deep dark green again just in the inner and outer part here but that is beautiful guys I really love this look <laughs> It was so quick as well. I'm gonna put something in my wall line lashes, mascara and all that, and something in my lips. I'll come back and I'll show you the finished look up close. Okay guys, now you've seen the finished look of look number two. And these were the two looks with the Haunted Europe palette. I need to do like this <laughs> because it's so cool. And yeah, now I've done three looks. I've used this palette as well uh, in my day-to-day -day life. So I have used all the shades in this palette. Uh, on camera though, I didn't use this one and probably this one. Is that right? Maybe, maybe not this one, but I have used this uh, off camera. Anyways, I really like this palette. What I love about it is you can go so many ways. It's not just like a super cool tone palette because you have the warm tones over here, except this one. This one I really, really love. Uh, the smoky eye uh, with this one is amazing. I really love this one. This one is a little more stiffer. I like this shade much more. And I also think this one is a little bit stiff, but I do love this shade, this matte shade. It's a really, really cool shade to have, and I love this matte as well. Of course, I love these because I love yellow and like yellowish golds. And the green performs so good as well today. I mean, look at this look. It's so simple to do a, like a festive <laughs> eyeshadow look to do a halo eye. I feel like that is something you can go to a party with. That was the two looks. I hope I have given you some inspiration for this palette if you own it. And if you don't own it, I mean, you can do this looks uh, with other palettes, with other shades you have in your collection. So I'm just gonna tell you what I used in my waterline. I actually didn't use like a dark one. Um, I actually used this one. This is from Makeup Store. It's a Swedish brand. It's just like, it's vanilla. It says vanilla and it's kind of a vanilla shade. Uh, not super white, but a little more yellow toned in my waterline just to open up my eyes a little bit. And I line my lips with this and I use this one as a lipstick. These both are from She Glam. This is the lip pencil and oh my god, it doesn't, it doesn't say on it, uh, but I will link it down below. And this one is in the shade Just Got Real. I really love this formula and yeah, as you can see, it's a little more brownish nude. Really love it. And this was it, guys. I really hope you have enjoyed it. As I said, give it a thumbs up if you enjoy. And I hope you have a wonderful day. I see you in my next video. Take care, guys. Bye.